It is time now for the Peter Channel Afternoon News for this Friday, November 28, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I get afternoon news and lines here on our top story 1232. Here is on your bar. Get set. Shop as shoppers head into Target just after the doors open at midnight on Black Friday in Portland, Maine. Here as shoppers from all around the country here set to embark. On their Christmas shopping today, as everyone around the country look for some good Black Friday deals around the country, as shopping centers around the country and around the region are busy, as always, on this Black Friday of 2014, which is the day after Thanksgiving here. And I was out at Mansfield Crossing checking out Black Friday activities and And here is my report. I am here with the 11th. We're going here on November 28th, 2015, Black Friday. But I'm here at Mansfield Crossing where I can come back from a great day at Mansfield Crossing in the summer. Peeked into a lot of the stores and they were busy as usual on this Black Friday 2014 here. It is. Black Friday here at Mansfield Crossing reminds me of Open Day Fenway Park here. They have motorists and people from all over the region head to the stores here in Mansfield Crossing the Rand region to check out the Black Friday deal. They buy some presents for themselves and their family and their friends. Peter Wiggins wanted to be a channel news here at the Mansfield Crossing in Mansfield. That was my report from Mansfield Crossing and Mansfield as I expect. That place and shopping centers all around the region here. Busier than normal on this Black Friday today and on Saturday and Sunday and throughout the rest of the holiday season here throughout much of December here. Over the pond in UK as Black Friday promotions of spark cast and bouncing stores around the country as police attending shops and set and some members of the public raise concerns over the volume of people attending the Black Friday sale. Meanwhile, in Ferguson, Missouri, on yesterday, a holiday sign hangs in front of the Ferguson Police Department as dozens of protesters interrupted holiday shopping in the St. Louis area late Thursday and early Friday as part of an ongoing reaction to the grand jury of the Darren Wilson acquittal of the murder of Michael Brown, the black teen, this summer. A veteran Austin, Texas police officer put away horses for the night was able to stop a gunman rampage in front of the city's downtown area early Friday and the suspect's 10-minute reign of terror before anyone was hurt, I reported he said. In a matter of 88 seconds, director J.J. Abrams gave new hope to a Star Wars fan, solely missing certain aspects of George Lucas' original movie trilogy. Pope Francis addressed the media at the presidential palace in Ankara, Turkey on Friday as he condemns the barbaric violence of Islamic State. Dozens of people have been killed in an explosion during Friday pairs of one of the biggest mosques in the Nigerian city of Kano, reports say. Can it make sense for the UK to leave the EU over its principle of the free movement of people? The answer is no, as immigration is indeed a big issue as in UK membership of the EU. In Newburgh, New York, two kids survived being trapped in a snowbank in the Newburgh, New York. Rescuers were able, finally able to find them and dig them free. The first family is decked in the White House halls with bottles of holly as a presidential Christmas tree arrived on Pennsylvania Avenue on Friday as First Lady, First Daughters Millie and Sasha, and First Dog Sunny and Bill on hand to welcome. Christmas at the White House. In Hartford, Connecticut, a federal judge in Connecticut has rejected the arguments of a home invasion killer, death row, who complained that the food he's being served in prison is not kosher. Walmart stores, workers, and activists have a new holiday tradition on busiest shopping day of the year, the stage protest against the biggest retail in the country. Former Saudi Arabian oil minister, Sheikh Ahmed Zaki Yemeni in 1979, had Saudi Arabia's reluctance to cut production of remnants of the Yemeni stance in the wake of the 1978-79 oil shock. Best Buy's website suffered a prolonged outage on Black Friday as a country its spike in mobile traffic led the electronics retail to shut it down temporarily. In Brasilia, Brazil's economy is prepared to grow faster in the fourth quarter and in fact next year, the finance ministry said in a statement commitment on the release of the third quarter economic growth data. We will have to wait until Black Friday over. We can arrive at an even rough estimate of what kind of money is spent and by whom and on a what psychologically significant sort of stuff. 
Yep's Article 29, working part of the body compromised our data protection representatives from individual member states of the European Union now has published guidelines to the implementation of this so-called right to be forgotten ruin. Sony has developed a watch made from the e-paper as part of the initiative to the experiment with the use of the material for fashion products. In the ways to win the television stream race, Google has taken some big bold steps with its Chromecast. It's going to add radio and other recorders to line up what's available. Ryan Knight, who appeared on Real World New Orleans as Dot TMZ reports he was 29 years old. As Knight was a largely party on Wednesday night and stayed the night at a friend's house. It's harder to whisk those bottle and flightless birds on the big screen as penguins are starting in Hollywood again and animated dream works. Film the penguins and mad after after years of stealing scenes and mad after a franchise. Back in February, she lived with stages performance art exhibit in Los Angeles called I Am Sorry, and where people are able to in a room where this actor do say whatever they wish as they sat silently wearing a paper bag over his head. Creed singer Scott Stepp was placed in a secular hold after cops in Florida found him on the side of the road wasted and rambling about someone trying to poison him according to a report. Centipedes typically have between 45 and 51 pairs of legs, but it's never an amount, even amount of pairs. For the first time, researchers have sequenced their full genome of a centipede and have found that to have many so many legs does not. Gray seals, while some animals are peaceful, some exhibit predatory behavior. As right, recently, there have been reports indicating that the lovable gray seals we adore so much have been killed for purposes for fun. 50 years ago today, on November 28, 1964, NASA launched its first successful mission to the Red Planet. The historic Mariner 4 mission returned to four orders ever taken another planet from deep space. A health worker demonstrates protective equipment during an e-board education session in New York. Anthony Fucky of the NIH said a stimulating two types of the human response was a prominent factor. I was wake but paralyzed at Cal Wire where he recalls undergoing eye surgery in 1998. I could hear the surgeon telling this training to cut deeper in the eye, she says. Take a look at stock market reports here at 12.39. Dow Jones, 17.838 for the 66, up 10 for 91. SP 526.24, down 5.59. Nasdaq, 4795.49, up 8.17. Take a look at New England Instant Alerts. And it was on this date, 72 years ago today, that the worst fire in history took place in Boston as a coconut grove nightclub fire in Boston had killed 492 people and injured hundreds more in 1942. This was the second deadliest fire in American history and led to a reform of safety standards and fire codes across the United States. Hey, Shabbat Shalom! Get out! We can all see you tomorrow for Shabbat on Saturday! I love you, love, love you, Shabbat. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, Lou. See you. Bye. 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 And in Providence, Rhode Island, an ACW 100 Ohio Avenue Engine 13 OS reporting heavy fire from a porch stretched in the line. Peter Channel News on 1241. Tam and I have a sports report here. Ravens linebacker Terrell Suggs has returned to Friday to the practice field after missing a Wednesday session with a foot injury. Suggs appeared to all set to be close to Sunday's game against the Chargers. The Green Bay Packers and New England Pacers both look as they've headed for a playoff spot, barring a huge club. But a battle with one another is what is going down for the Thanksgiving all day weekend here. And the Lions and Bell against the Bears. And today, the Boston Celtics will be at the Garden taking on the Chicago Bulls. It's game time, 19 minutes from now at 1 o'clock. And the Boston Bruins will be at the Garden 7 p.m. tonight against the Winnipeg Jets. Peter Chalm News on 1241 here, and it is time for a little Trevor Reporter on this Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving here. And, uh, and Route 1 around the area of Emerald Square Ball is busier than normal on this Black Friday of 2004. 14 here, and Route 3 in the northbound side is backed up from Hanover all the way out to Derby Street in Hingham, and Route 3 in the southbound side is backed up from Weymouth all the way down through 220 in Brackland. That is because due to an accident on Route 3 on the southbound side between the Weymouth Hingham lines near Derby Street and Hingham, so expect some delays here. And 
South Shore Plaza areas in Braintree, Route 37, Sloan Ball Fans here, to the Black Friday Holiday Shop in here. Route 1 and Northbound side is backed up from Route 16 and up into Route 1 in Saugus. Route 9 on both sides backed up as usual around the Natick Mall and Shop as well. And Freeman and Natick do the Black Friday Shop in here. And we got an accident. Red and a vehicle spun out on Route 128 stop on the exit 40. Route 129 stop and go traffic from exit 41. Main Street in Linfield here. And Wilmington exit 93 northbound after 39. Exit 39 Concord Street. And exit 95 one, Mass 128 US 3 Yankee Division Highway. Report of VM. In Lexington, vehicle spun out of Route 120 northbound and exit 30. Route 2A. Accident Mass Pike 120 near the Mass Pike here. And Boston Rail accident expressway southbound before exit 18 Mass Avenue. Stop and go traffic from Moynil Tunnel. And in Braintree, accident reported on expressway southbound before the Braintree split. In low accident on low connector 79495 here, but otherwise a smooth sand community on this Black Friday afternoon here. And in work accident, shoulder block the airport connector of roads at eastbound of Interstate 95. Alright, let's take a look at our seven day forecast of goals like this here. For this afternoon, most of the sand skies high about 36 degrees, north west wind about 7 9 miles per hour. For tonight, park sky low about 18 degrees, slight west wind. Saturday, part of the sky about 35 degrees and light and variable wind. Saturday night, slight chest of showers after 5 a.m. Most of the sky will go on 27 degrees. Light south wind, chest patient 20% for Sunday. Part of the sky about 52 degrees and southwest wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Saturday night, most of the sky low about 42 degrees. For Monday, part of the sky about 34 degrees. Monday night, most of the sky low about 27 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky most of the sky about 35, low about 27 degrees. Wednesday, chest of showers, cloud sky high about 50 degrees and chest patient 30%. For that, most of the sky sky low about 33 degrees. For that, most of the sky sky about 44 degrees. Not temperature, 36 degrees, most of the sky sky. That is going to be it for the period chillin'. Afternoon, we're pointing this. November 28, 2014 and Friday. PUSA, have a good day, and I will see you for a 5 o'clock report. Have a good day.